fancy yourself a fight with the Nazis? The game starts in 1946 with Nazis on the ridge of global domination. The first mission puts you, General Blaskovich, in the trenches with hopes of infiltrating the German bunkers. While traveling through the trenches, you collect weapons, ammunition, and armor as is standard for most first-person shooters. The first criticism I have for this game is the amount of crashing that I encountered. While my computer was able to handle recording Wolfenstein on ultra settings, utilizing about half my storage, processor, and graphics, it crashed after the first time I died. Then, it crashed the second time I died. And also, when I encountered a cinematic cutscene. To remedy this, I put the game on medium quality graphics, and I still encountered the same problem. Moving forward, the game introduces your main antagonist, General Wilhelm Deathshed Strauss. Clearly a mad scientist hired by the German regime, his super soldiers hold you hostage and he asks you to choose one of your allies to be killed. I won't spoil the next part, but you are then separated from your crew and the next mission starts in 1960 with vengeance on your mind. In my two and a half hours of playtime, I was able to complete the first chapter and start the second. Overall, I give this game a rating of 6 out of 10. This game received great reviews at launch, but the amount that it has crashed made it nearly unbearable. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. If you enjoyed this review of Wolfenstein, The New Order, I recommend you check out my review of the entire Bioshock franchise that I have linked right here. Thanks for watching.